Hello, this is Ask Dr. Ben. Our next question is from Megan, and yeah, it's it's one that uh, I think a couple other people have as well. Uh, um, in fact, I think I've got another message queued up back here, and I saw that somewhere. Yep. Uh, so this is a uh, this is going out to Megan and going out to Jillian at the same time. Uh, and so what Megan and Jillian are both noticing is the WHO announcement that I think was like. Uh, it's either yesterday morning or maybe two days ago now. Uh, uh, and it was saying that from the, yeah, Jillian quotes it very nicely. From the data we have, it seems rare that an asymptomatic person actually transmits onward to a secondary individual. And since that statement was made by that one person, the uh, WHO has been walking that back about as fast as it'll go. <laughs> it did not stay out for long. Um, and so the science behind it, I, I think we've talked about in a couple other videos, the general gist of it is there have been a couple of big studies that showed that certain people who were asymptomatic, they traced, you know, um, there's one of these where they traced something like a thousand contacts of one person, and they couldn't find any that were definitely infected, but they didn't do the tests that would find other asymptomatic infections, which, yeah, I don't know. So it wasn't a great test, but it's at least showing that uh, this asymptomatic person didn't infect a thousand people and have them all die or something. That's like the worst case uh, scenario. So we've got that, and we've got other modeling studies and other studies that have come out. The estimate right now is that, if I remember right, uh, asymptomatic spread is something like 15% of uh, regular spread, something like that, or you're 15% as likely as normal. So it's rare, but not rare enough that you could actually just say, oh, they're asymptomatic, it's going to be fine. That's very much not the case and a super bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> very, very bad idea. Um, and I think that's what people are trying to take from this. People are, oh my gosh, people are so, they so want this to be over. And I totally get where that comes from. And they're just reaching out and trying to grab onto anything that says that maybe you don't have to wear a mask. Maybe you don't have to be careful anymore. But if you're seeing advice like that, it's bad advice. And don't follow it. Um, because... Yeah, we can go through one by one and prove every, you know, <laughs> dumb thing that somebody says wrong. But in doing so, we keep infecting more and more people and the problem gets worse and worse. And ultimately, there are an unlimited number of dumb things that we could try <laughs> that probably aren't going to work, almost certainly aren't going to work. And there are a few things that we can not try but actually do that have pretty good track records and uh, wearing a mask is definitely one of those uh, places where mask use and like sort of enforced social distancing like not just saying go social distance yourself but uh, <laughs> saying you know you there yeah break it up that the places that are doing that are uh, showing good results i'm thinking somewhere like um uh, New York State, uh, some places in Europe, for example. Um, yeah. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the WHO, uh, that was said by one person. I think that's not the official position of the WHO. And I think they're trying to make that very clear so that people don't take this as uh, just free reign to you know do whatever and live their best lives because uh, that'll make the outbreak worse and that's the one thing i think we don't need right now more than all the other things we don't need thank you very much this is ask dr ben